Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill. Get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack. So just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother. Just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today we are doing a really funky recipe, but before we start, I've got someone who wants to tell you something. Hello. Hello, I am a fairy, um, um, Yo. fairy ladybird. You're a fairy ladybird, and why are you dressed as a fairy, fairy ladybird? Because they're mummies. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what are we cooking today? Well, what am I cooking today? Dinner. Dinner. That is a very general answer, and it is actually correct. It is not wrong. We are making dinner, and to be precise, is vodka pasta. Can you say vodka pasta? Vodka pasta. That needs some work. Anyhow, vodka. Do you know what vodka is, Phoebe? It is alcohol. Now, we've got a lot of, in our glass there, which we're going to use, but I've also got a little shot of it here. Do you want to try some? There we go. You have a little bit of that. Big sip, then. Do you like it? It's water. <laughs> That's right, it is water. There is no way I would give my kid alcohol. Of course I wouldn't do that. Not until she's at least 15 and she's doing it behind my back, right? You can eat this banana. Uh, I didn't really need to eat that banana, mate. I was using it as a prop, but I guess I'm going to have to eat it now. Anyhow, these are all the ingredients you're going to need to make this recipe. So just hit pause on the video and write it all down. What are you doing with that banana? Oh, just leave it there. So anyhow, apparently by using vodka and tomatoes together, the vodka draws out some sort of essence or flavour or something that nothing else can. It's kind of like it sort of just gives in, it's like, oh, I've got to do it. So, uh, yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Cheeky monkey. Okay, I'm trying to make this recipe as simple as possible. I'm actually going to add some bacon bits in, so you can actually have it vegetarian by just omitting the bits of bacon, but obviously if you want it more meaty, you can have some chicken in there, some beef, some pork, some lamb. I don't know what I'm saying. It's really easy. We're going to chuck it together. You can have two pans. One is going to be for your pasta. That's... I don't know why I've got my hands up like that. One for your pasta, and the other one, like a frying pan thing where we chuck it all together, and all the flavours combine. Cop bang Get bang Right here then guys, so in terms of the preparation for this recipe, apart from weighing out, which is really simple, everyone should be able to do that, all we're going to do is grab our onion, what I've done is cut it in half down like that through the bum, giving the bum a little bit of a trim because he was a little bit hairy like that, see that? So we got rid of that, and it does actually make it a little bit easier to get your skin off your onion when it's like that, okay? So just peel your onion, and then we're going to slice that, and the other bit we've got is our clove of garlic, which you've seen me bef do before, you're just going to sort of give it a little squash, which helps you to get the peel off, I'll show you this what, quite a few times recently. So that just comes off really easy like that. Put that to one side, and then you just finally chop it. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna chop up my garlic. And let me show you how to chop an onion, for those of you that have forgotten. Particularly you, James Merritt, who actually contacted me and said, how do you chop an onion? I wanna show you right now, James. Yeah, okay, so I've just taken the skin off my onion. Remember, we've still got the bum there, and what we're gonna do is cut into the bum, working at it, okay? So start wide, da ding da ding da ding the ding. See, I'm going quite chunky, but you can, if you want, if you make it too chunky, that's what the aim I'm going for here, but if you see it's quite chunky like that, you can still go in between the bits there. But I'm happy with that. I don't want my onions too too thin today, but obviously I would. I'd go thinner. And then this is the next bit, okay? So it's all stuck there with that bum. It's holding it together. So I'll grip it like that, hold it all in, and come at an angle like this, okay? I normally go slightly down. You can also make two incisions if you like, but I'm just going to go for the one today. Da -da 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 -da. It really helps if your knife is nice and sharp as well. So that is in there, like that. And all you do is then just sort of cut down, okay? So just cut down, boom, boom, boom. And that is how you cut your onion. So work it all around there till you're left with your little bum bit. I've already dust, diced my garlic, dust my garlic, dice my garlic, waha! And that is it, we're ready to go. We're gonna chuck it all in the pan and have a party. Yeah, party. Okay then guys, so I'll grab two pans and put them on a low heat. One of them is my frying pan, yeah, and I've put in a tablespoon of butter on a low heat like that, so that's just getting around the pan. I'm also going to add in a little bit of olive oil in with it as well, just to stir that all around, make it nice and lubricant-y. lubricant -y, is that a word? No. Almost sounds like a very rude word as well. Anyhow, saucepan of water there, that is going to be for our pasta. That is on a very low heat, I'm in no rush to boil that to a boil. My pasta takes 11 minutes, but depending on whichever one you've bought, you know, you might have bought fresh pasta, which only takes a couple of minutes, just tweak it to that, okay? Cha-ching. So it's all about this pan right now. What's gonna happen? That's actually getting very warm already. I'm gonna put in the onions first, because they're a little fatter than our garlic. They're gonna join in, and then our lard on, cha-ching. Basically chunky bits of bacon, optional, is gonna go in too. There. Okay, so into that frying pan right there, I've got my onions, I'm just gonna drop them in. Yes. And that goes very briefly, just to start to soften them up a little bit, okay? 
That is all good. The actual smell of the butter and the olive oil just alone smells good already. I think we're going to like this one a lot. Okay, boom, that has been exactly 64 seconds. That's been 64, 65 seconds now. I've got my garlic in a shot glass. I put it in not in the same shot glass as the water that Phoebe had, although it makes no difference now. That is there. Cha ching in there. I'm going to stir it around another 60 seconds and then I'm going to add in the lardons. Now, the cool thing about this recipe, which my colleague told me, which might have been a joke or wind up, Basically, if you make this dish for the person, your partner, who you're with, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever, that they will be with you forever. Now, the only thing I've got to say about that is one, I don't believe it, and two, I'm really glad I didn't make this for my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so that's been another minute. In goes our lardons, okay? Cluttering, let's just drop those right in there. Yes, baby, stir these around, they're gonna change in color. That's what we want. And the next thing that's gonna go in there is our vodka. I love it. Okay, boom, that is just coming up to two minutes in there and the smell is going butchung straight out of that pan. It's going into you, back to me. It's a worldwide thing, baby, we're loving it. Wherever you are in the world, if you're in America, if you're in Tennessee, uh, like Bill who said to me the other day, I'm from Tennessee and I like your videos. This coming to Tennessee and back to my kitchen with boom, 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 boom. Right, anyhow, our vodka is here. Really tempted to drink a bit. Ugh. I hate straight vodka. Anyhow, this is pour it in the pan like this. Cha ching. Now it's going to reduce a little bit. After about two or three minutes, that is what we want. Just to reduce a teeny bit. Not too much. Still going to have that flavour in there. Right now, that vodka is going in there. It's jumping in there. It's going. Hey, hey, lardons. Hey, hey, garlic. Hey, onion. How you doing? Let's let's party. Okay, that's only been about two minutes and it's starting to reduce already. It's all good. And you guys, you know me, I know probably most of you are thinking, Barry, you like Jägermeister so much, why aren't you using it? And today, it is a vodka recipe. We're doing a serious one, my friends. I gotta admit, I was so tempted to put Jägermeister in there and I probably will do it one day. So if you wanna have a go and let me know how you do it, just you know, tell me what it tastes like and uh, you know, maybe I'll do that soon. But anyhow, that is all there, it's looking good. It's nearly time to add in our tin of tomatoes and our chicken stock. So it's all going well, not many more ingredients left. My pan for my pasta is just suddenly, you know, sort of just taking its time. So yeah, I've got a bit of time to just warm up in my own time. It's kind of sunbathing on the beach. It's like, yeah. So that's, that's basically where we are, to be honest. Yeah. Hello, I'm from England and I speak funny. Okay, anyhow, there is our pan, it's rolling away. Tin of chopped tomatoes, here we go. I don't have any preference to this brand, but they always seem to be there on the shop, but they are all good. It's all there, any type of chopped tomatoes you like. In fact, you could even get your own tomatoes from your very own garden, that's all good. Stir it all in there, you can see how much is calming down there. And now we just grab our chicken stock like that, pour it in, whoa. It really has calmed down the noise when it was roaring away there. Let's just stir that all through. And what we're gonna do, Let's bring that to a simmer for a good amount of time right now. Leave it as it is. Look at it. You want to see the colour on that? Wow. It's kind of looked like something died in there. It didn't die in there. It's alive still. Okay, guys, check out that colour. It's sort of like a nice funky orangey colour. I like it that. I'm digging it. And what if, if I just stop there? Can you see that? There's little bubbles. It's starting to simmer. It's beginning the process. It's sort of like getting ready for work in the morning. It's putting its tie on. It's going, yeah. I'm ready to simmer. So that's what it's doing. My pan there is about to start boiling. It's very nearly close. Pasta's going in. All you should have left is some pepper, some salt, some cream, which we're all gonna stir in there. That's all gonna go in there. Some spinach, which I'm gonna wilt in there. Mrs. Barry's actually said, please, can you put some spinach in for me? I'm pregnant and I need some more iron. So I did that for her. Peace out. Okay, and also my pasta. That is it. That is it. That is it, that is it. That is it. Okay, I've just plopped my pasta on, that is bubbling away there. It's gonna take about 10 minutes, and with it being pasta, it's kind of boring to talk about, so that is, that is pretty much it. Another thing, <laughs> this pan here, check that out. That is roaring away, and that whole tomato and vodka thing we were talking about, there is something going on in that pan right there. I've been hearing some noises, I've been hearing some Barry White music playing. I think there is some proper X-rated scenes going on in that pan. They are loving it. I've gotta keep my eye on that right now. It's kind of like when you're younger, or you, know, you probably still are young, and like you're in a nightclub and then you sort of see someone, you know, of the sex that you prefer and you sort of they walk in and you're like, oh my God. Or an American might say, damn she fly, damn she fly. Or maybe not, but you know what I mean. There is something good going on right there. It steamed up the camera. It steams up, we don't want you to see it. It's like Titanic with a hand on the screen. Oh, Jack, Jack. 
Okay, so about five minutes left to go on the pasta there, and it's time to break up this love relationship right now. As I was saying about the whole nightclub scene thing, it's kind of like you see that girl, and then that girl, she sees someone else. Doom! And that other person is our spinach. Cha-ching! So what we're going to do, just grab a big pile of it and just plonk it in there. And we're going to sweat that out, we're going to wilt it, so it's all going to shrivel up. Nothing for the VOD could have be intimidated about that tomato, it's just going to hug it. It's going to dance with it for a little bit, then it's going to move on to another nightclub. Nightclub reference cooking, I don't know whether you like that. Okay then guys, look, my spinach is all wilted in there, it's simmering away, it's all nice and thickened. What I'm going to do is take that completely off the heat to the point where I'm literally plonking it straight onto my chopping board to cool down just for a minute. What we're going to do is go for the money shot and add in some cream any minute now. I've just checked my pasta and it's all ready to be done, so all I'm going to do, whoa, steam effect, is drain that off in the sink like that, cha-ching. Then I'm going to put it in this mixing bowl right here. It's easy. Woo! Okay then guys, check that out. That is our pasta steaming up. Look, can I steam you up? No, I don't really, really want to do that right now. Anyhow, this pan, you can see how quickly the mixture has cooled down. Just literally left that for a couple of minutes while I was draining my pasta. I've actually left a teeny bit of the pasta water <laughs> inside it. Um, that's because what Jamie Oliver tells people to do and Jamie inspired me. So uh, yeah, thanks mate. Anyhow, so there, let's put that there. What we're gonna do, a little bit of ground black pepper. Ch -ch 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 -ching in there, a little bit of salt, all good, and here is coming the money shot, I'm going to get you nice and close so you can see this, our cream is going into that mixture, yes, here we go then, let's get this mixture in here, I'm just going to go for like a swirly effect, oh my goodness, check that out, that is a money shot right there, let's stir it round, it's going to change the colour a little bit, oh wow, this is heaven, Okay, so that's with it all stirred in there. It's kind of like a nice mouldy orange colour. It's kind of soothing. I'm liking it. It's kind of like the calm after the storm. It's good. This is the point now if you wanted to add anything else, any more herbs, any more spices, any salt and pepper, anything you want. Just chuck it in there. But I'm just going to get it back onto heat over there. And we're going to bring it together in this bowl with our pasta, baby. Yep, so Mr. Flame is back. Let's put our newly changed colour mixture compound thingamajig in there. Stir it all around again. Let the heat do its thing. As soon as it starts to bubble though, we're going to take it off the heat, mix it in with the pasta, and then we plate it up. That is as simple as it is to make this recipe. Even an idiot can do it, like me. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's only been about two minutes on the heat. Obviously the pan's still hot, and it's just starting to bubble. So all I'm going to do now is take it off the heat, stir it in the bowl. So uh, let's put a bowl right there. Cool, so there is our bowl right there, as I said. And let's just pour in our mixture. Careful not to spill it over your bowl. Do, 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 do. Don't want to get it over your kitchen floor. Otherwise, you will get in trouble with your partner. That is, if you have a partner, because as you realise we're making this recipe, now you've made it, you're going to be stuck with them for life. So, there it is in there. Just is grab ourselves a spoon. We can get like some tongs and toss it all around. Look, you see that? I'm just mixing it all together, getting it all around there. Oh my goodness, this smells good. Check that out. Whoa, spinach is in there as well. Spinach. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a bowl right here. And you know what that bowl needs? It needs some vodka pasta, baby. Let's get that in there right now. There we go, that is all in there. Check this out, looking all good. I'm gonna just grate some cheese on it. That is completely optional. Yep, so just a little bit of cheese on there, just to finish it off. Wow, it's melting into it. There we go, that is our pasta dish all done. I'm gonna eat this now and I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay then guys, this is it, the dish is all done, it's ready, I'm gonna have a little bite into it. I wanna dedicate this video to Bridget Agard, I believe it is, ch -ch 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 -ching, who said, can you give me a shout out on your next healthy video? So this one, this one's quite healthy, I think you're gonna appreciate this. So cheers Bridget, and here we go, let's have a little taste of this. The smell is incredible, it's all the colours in it, I'm just, I'm loving the way it looks. I just wanna jump in. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I got the perfect balance in that, like in that forkful then. I got my pasta, I got my spinach, I got my cheese, I got my lardons, I got a little bit of that onion in there as well. It's all coming together. The tomatoes and the vodka. Woo! Cheese and carrots, baby, are the new vodka and tomatoes. Well, no, vodka and tomatoes is a new peas and carrots. Cha-ching. So if I can make this, Absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. You've seen how easy it is. Let me know how you get on. Send me some pictures, some videos, whatever. And I'll see you again next time. Peace out.